Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back into some more Timberborn. Okay, so I have been getting some really great advice from people on a few things. One is apparently there's a little barrier right here that's blocking some water. So let's demolish that. And someone said that there was a little bitty bit of stairs. Oh, there is a little bitty bit of stairs right there. Look at that. Look at it. It's perfect. Okay, so from that little bitty bit of stairs... Uh, let's see. I guess I'm gonna have to come down. And down and around. Yes, maybe. Okay, we're gonna do that. I do have one person who is unemployed. I could put that there. We could demolish that. We can move the gatherer's flag. Probably up here. Because it gets a whole lot more goodies up there. And then add in that. So I never even saw those stairs right there. That was very helpful. Thank you very much, person who told me that. Uh, I also had someone told me, uh, or tell me rather, that I did not have enough food or water to last. Or I don't know if they meant that I didn't have enough to last on this, or if I just didn't have enough overall. I do believe I have enough to last this particular cycle of the drought. It's just going to be the next cycle is going to be a problem. Um, let's go ahead and tell it to clear cut some trees here. Okay. Yeah, I want that to clear cut those trees. Yeah, so that lumberjack there, and there's the one there. And I have one up here. Okay, that should be pretty decent. So now I'm just waiting for that to end. Yeah, we're going to be fine on water and food. We're just going to have to get some more coming in soon. I would like to get a large water tank. Uh, oh, that does require gears, which I don't have. Oh, wow, that can hold 300 water. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so much water. That's crazy amount of water. Um, Power? No, metal. That's the shredder. That's not what I'm looking for. Or is it this? Oh, it is this. Okay. Yeah, this takes planks and turns planks into gears. And this also takes 120 power. Uh, which I believe I'll have just enough to get that guy right there up and running. Also needs a lot of science. And I need a forester. And I need a paper mill. And I need all the things. And I've got to readjust here. So yay, we made it through the first drought. Awesome. Just got to wait for the water to get back here. I don't know how long it takes for the water to reappear. Maybe it takes a day. They are harvesting, so that's good. There's my water. Come on, need my water. Still got enough food and water to last, hopefully until this right here shows back up. We've, oh, there it comes. Sweet, 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 sweet. Awesome. Yeah, so we have 130 power left, so that is enough. Um, that would be enough to power up a gear workshop once we get some, some more tech and everything. We do have another unemployed worker at the moment, too. And a mini log. We could do a mini lodge. It can only house a single beaver, but it's also kind of cool. A uh, labor, a builder's hut, distribution post, and a hauling hut. Okay. Just trying to figure out what I want to build next, basically. don't really know what the dams are for. 
A floodgate blocks water up to an adjustable height. Oh, okay. I'm understanding. So I guess some stuff has to be built on specific uh, maximum depth to. Okay. Let's get a forester unlocked here. He has a reasonable range. I think it would be good to go ahead and get him put in there somewhere. Um, yeah, let's put him right there then. Takes a few logs and a few planks. Takes one worker. One little beaver. There it goes. So prioritize blueberries, birch, pine, maple. These are all pines. I, oh, hold on. Let's uh, slow down for a second. Is there like a difference? These are all dead. Here we go. So Birch gives one. Pines. Maples give... Wow, maples give eight logs. I wonder if there's a big difference in like planting or something. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. Uh, days to grow 9, 12, 24. But it gives the most amount of wood. This takes the least amount of time, but only gives one wood. For three more days, I can get two. So this right here gives the most wood, but it also takes the longest. But you know what? I think I'm going to go for it. I'm probably going to get told this was a terrible decision, but we're going to go for it. Oh, we could just like make a whole forest out of it. Okay. Oh, I understand what they were talking about. So as long as the we unblock the water, then I can get water back into these areas. Oh, okay. I get it now. So we can put dynamite and we can create like canals to like water the oh okay i'm i'm understanding it now so we can block the water off and we could like create a canal up here to water this oh this is making this is making so much sense now i don't even know if i did that right with the forester probably didn't <laughs> Um, hold on, let's just clear the planting area. Clear all that out. Okay, so I, apparently this is like a sort of a farm in a way. Yeah, apparently this is some sort of a farm. Okay, I'm, I get it now. It's a tree farm. So we've made ourselves a little tree farm. What I probably need to do is get another inventor going. Um, we also need more housing. Our little our little people need more places to make babies. So let's give them a place to go and make little little babies. Put one there. We can put one here. Okay. Water is full again. Wait, what's your what's your problem? Can they not utilize that actually? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. It's just I just got to connect the path up like that. Okay. Just had to kind of make a little railing in a way for it to uh, to function properly. Okay. Oh, now we have four unemployed. So we got. Quite a few unemployed people. I would like to have another inventor. So let's get another inventor in here. 
I'm gonna keep an eye on our stocks of everything. I'm considering getting rid of those blueberries. I'm probably gonna get told that was a bad idea. Um, I feel like I need to get rid of them and plant more crops, which are more beneficial, such as more carrots and more potatoes. So we'll get, just get rid of these blueberry bushes. He's gathering all these up here anyway, so should be okay. Yeah, we're just waiting on potatoes to come in. Potatoes. I'll do something random. We'll put a few potatoes. Actually, no, I'll put the... Uh, I'll do a few potatoes here, I guess. And they'll do some more carrots back there. That way I have lots and lots of food started up here. Okay. All right, there's two inventor's homes. Cool. That's going to double the amount of science we get, which is going to be very, very useful. Oh, yeah. Doing much better now on the science. Um, a double lodge would actually be good to get to. That way I can house more. Uh, but the first thing I definitely want to do is get that gear workshop up and running. So I need a hundred, which we will get really quick. And you just need so much science. Like, you just need an insane amount of science. I also want the platform. I want it all, literally. I basically just want everything. Well, what's your problem? Okay. You're having problems, but you'll be fine, I guess. All right, come on, give me, give me the points. Ninety-eight. And there we go. Okay. All right, gear workshop. Yes, please. So he's kind of the same way. It looks like he's got one place that it can connect to. Which is going to be annoying. Why must it be this way? Okay, let's do this then. Oh, wait, I can't build one over the road. Isn't there... Okay, there has got to be a way to put it over the road. A high power shaft. A windmill. An intersection. I mean, surely... There's got to be a way to do it. I can go, like, up and to on top of the buildings. But yeah, it, uh... Hmm. Those stairs are in the way. You know what? Let's get 80 points, and I want to see about that high power shaft right there. Because there's got to be something I'm missing here. Oh, okay, so we're finally making some potatoes. Oh, no, we're not. We're, we're getting carrots. Yeah, we kind of ran a little low on food right there. Also need another water pump. Let's get that water pump in here before I run out of water. 
Two water pumps now, please. Okay. Second water pump to help with the water. Ah, and the potatoes are ready. Good. Okay. Our water people need to be making some water, definitely. Yeah, there we go. I could do a hauler. That would actually be pretty good, too. Yeah, here comes all the foods coming in. 32 berries. We've got some grilled potatoes. They already ate all the carrots up. Jeez, these are some hungry, hungry beavers, aren't they? Super hungry little beavers. What did I need for that? A hundred? No, I need 80, so I'll be able to get it tomorrow. Yeah, be able to get that tomorrow. Okay, cool. Let's get through the night. Grist mills, bakeries. Six unemployed now. Alright, there's that. Alright, let's get this guy right here unlocked. How do you work precisely, sir? So you allow things to go up and... Over. What does Shift R do? Oh, it's just okay. Right and left. <laughs> Duh. Um. Okay. Oh, but it requires gears, which I don't have. <laughs> Urgh, this is annoying. Like, there's got to be a way to go over the road with it. Like, why is that not a thing? I, I really feel like I'm missing something here. I mean, the only other way to do this is to, like, cut off access. And it'd have to go all the way around. I, I don't understand this. Unless... Will you connect? Apparently that connects... That connects it? Maybe? I think that's what it's telling me it's doing? I don't know. I guess we'll find out very shortly. I guess I'll find out here in a second if that's what it's doing. Yeah, if that okay, that did it. Okay, so that connected it and I can go that way with it. That was weird. <laughs> All right, lovely. Um because I can. I want a shrub. I want a shrub here too. Actually, yeah, put the shrub there. Put shrubs everywhere. Shrub, 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 shrubs. Okay. Uh, this right here is the high priority. Oh, auto save. Okay. 
along with that is a priority. Cool. Alright, and he can start making some gears for me. Got 43 planks in storage. Alright, lovely. 127 water, a bunch of food, and we still have a little bit more to go on in terms of the food. Although now that I'm thinking about it, you know what? I'm already going to change my mind on something here. I'm going to get rid of this. I want more. Uh, oh, shoot. Probably shouldn't have done this to begin with, but whatever. Yeah, here. We'll let these right here grow, and then I'm going to take them out and um, replace those with carrots. I'm going to put all that as potatoes. And I want all of this right here as carrots, too. So everybody go and do a little bit of clearing for me. Yes, I know, I wasted time doing all that, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. Get rid of those as well, because I'm probably going to end up building a bridge right there or something. Let's get another thing of water right back there. Uh, so these people are here are just kind of hanging out, doing whatever. Uh, you know what? I could increase the number of workers at the district center. So I think that's what they do. I thought maybe like unemployed people would come and do all this, but it doesn't seem that way. Yeah, it's just the four that work at the district center. It's fine. Hauling post actually would be kind of nice. That would help increase productivity. Yeah, let's put a hauling post in. I'm going to put that as high priority for these guys. Transport goods between warehouses when idle. Okay, interesting. Migrate population, huh? Hmm. All right, three days until a drought happens. So that's going to mean that I'm going to lose all that food. So whatever food I've got, we're going to have to make it last. Which probably is so not going to happen. Uh, we do have some grilled potatoes. I don't have any carrots. They've already eaten it all. Yeah, I don't have enough time to, uh, to grow more. That's unfortunate. What I can do, though, is toss down a few more gatherers. A few more gatherers to try to gather up the rest of these berries right here to at least increase our stockpiles. Um, let's get that as a high priority. Prepare ourselves for the second drought.
Yeah, here we go. All right, come on, guys. You got one and a half days to go gather more berries for us and increase our food stocks. 200. Oh, I wonder how long this is going to last, too. Oof. It's going to hurt. Uh, we do have quite a bit of research available to us. Could I use that on a large water tank? Yes, please. Ooh, that's a big old water tank. That could take the place of several of the smaller ones, too. I could put him, like, right back here. You're a big puppy, aren't you? Um... course i didn't know about all the different sizes of these things when i laid it all out all right i guess you'll go right there path to there now that ought to get if, if i can get this thing built in time <laughs> which i'm it, it'll be close i don't know if i can or not i definitely won't get any of these any of this food right here we might run out of food actually before it's all said and done Yeah, we may run out of food. I don't know. Um, okay. Let's increase the working hours here to 24. Just for the last day, because I need all the food and water I can possibly get. And all the gears I can possibly get. Prepare ourselves for the drought. We'll give these guys a break once the drought is uh, actually here. Yeah, we're not going to get it done in time. That's unfortunate. We are going to have a reasonable amount of food, though, so that's going to be good. Alright, since the drought's going to be here, we'll just decrease the working days. Down to like 14. Alright, the drought has started... Let's see if we can get some more water in here before the drought starts. It's going to be close, guys. It's going to be real close. There it is. Okay, drought is here at the end of the episode again, too. But this one right here, so three and it's 3.7 days. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cut in the recording, and we'll come back at the end of the drought since there's really nothing that can... Oh, hey, the drought didn't go all the way up there, though. Interesting. The drought didn't go all the way. It stopped. Oh, no, never mind. There it is. Never mind. There's the rest of the drought. Yeah, so I'm going to put a cut in the recording and I'll come back at the end of it as long as we survive, I guess. So I'll we'll see you in a few days and let's just pray. All right, guys. So we're back and yeah, we're, we're about to. It's not good. We lost all of our water. Food is really, really scarce right now. We're having trouble. People are dying of hunger. We've already lost four people of hunger. Buildings are lacking workers. Yeah, it's not good. I think we're about to basically lose, essentially. Um, there's no way I can get enough food. Uh, none of this stuff is like... Well, the fruits... It's at 65% down here. It's not going to be enough. I don't think we're going to get enough people before everybody dies of, of hunger. Um, I, I did not, ex I shouldn't have built all of those uh, random forestry farms. I should have built more food. I thought I was going to have enough food to last. I thought I had enough. Um, ah, but, you know, games like this, that's what happens. You know, you, you live and you learn. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. We have two people born at least, but we just have so much death happening now they're trying to get food we're trying guys i promise i don't know how it's gonna go we did unlock the iron teeth so you know hey if we completely fail maybe we'll play with the iron teeth faction next 
But I, I hope we don't fail. But if we do, you know, it's fine. I don't know. I think we're I think we might be okay. We got a little bit of food, we got a little bit of water. Um I definitely need somebody working here though. I can't prioritize that that building though. No, people are still dying of hunger. <laughs> yeah, we might be screwed. Um, alright, hold on, let's, let's turn places off. I don't need that working, I don't need that working. Um, I don't need the hauling post working. I need this kind of stuff working. Plus, I mean, we still have another drought coming up soon, so I've got to figure out how to, uh, main, how to, like, boost all of our food and water up even further. And we're not going to be able to get the large water tank built right now until I have some free workforce. Ooh, it's rough, people. It's rough. Hmm. A water dump? Oh, that discharges water. Huh, that's interesting. I wonder what that means. A water dump. It discharges water. That's different. Irrigation tower. Well, I can't do that. Uh, grist mills and bakeries would be good. Beehives boosts the crop growth of nearby grounds. It does need paper, which I don't have, unfortunately, right now. And I don't have the extra workforce to dedicate to that. Someone died of old age, unfortunately. It's like we're just barely keeping up with our food needs right now. I'm trying to look and see if there's anything that I could could do to try to help this out. The potatoes are all still trying to grow. Carrots are almost there, though. And every so often we get a bush that's regrown and we can get some berries real quick to try to Help stave off starvation. Oh, this is so... This is like... Mind-numblingly scary. I need more people to hurry up and grow up. Or I need the carrots. Oh, we've got some carrots, finally. Oh, carrots are maturing. Oh, glorious carrots. Glory, glory carrots. Someone has grown up and is working somewhere. Hurry up with the carrots. I need the carrots. Yes, carrots. Carrots, carrots. Everybody gets a carrot. And it shall be awesome. The potatoes will be the the potatoes are going to save us though. Potatoes shall save us, I hope. Oh yes, here come more carrots. Oh, awesome. I should have also planted more carrots. Uh, let's do that. Oh, we can plant blueberries? What? I didn't even pay attention to that. We can plant blueberries. There's probably so many things I'm st I'm just failing miserably at right now. Yeah, definitely want to plant some more carrots right here. Okay, I think we have staved off starvation. I think we just about have. Someone else has grown up. I don't know where these people are working at, but they're working somewhere. Yep, yeah, we've just about staved off starvation, so that's really, really good. Probably need another farm, though. This is probably too... Yeah, this is too much for these guys to handle. I'm going to have to um, build another farmhouse, but I don't have enough unemployed. What's still missing? Nothing's missing anything except for what I have turned off. The lumber mill, the hauling post, and the gear workshop. So the next stuff that grows up, then I can... Um, we'll get another farm built. Let's get this farm built up here. Uh, this is too much farmland for two people. 
probably need multiple farms actually now that i think about it i may have to start over just because i think i've done screwed up somewhere <laughs> uh we'll try to we'll try to wrestle our way back from the jaws of failure if i can so we got two that grew up so there's two more for the farmhouse right here the farmhouse at the moment is way more important than the gear workshop um food is more important right now i can sh uh, shuffle people around to work on other stuff like this right here i can actually just take this out this thing right here i can just take you out Then I'll take that. Okay, so I'll, now that all that is gone, fortunately, these things don't seem to regrow. I thought they regrew. I thought I saw some saplings or something somewhere, so I guess I'm going to have to make like a, a farm, essentially, for them. Okay, we've got a couple of people left. Let's turn this stuff back on. Get that stuff back up and running. We've got a bunch of points that we have not been spending so let's spend those now these can act as bridges and stuff too and i can use those to like get over to other sides and harvest some material over on these sides yeah i can go harvest material over there or i could do something like come up here Clear out. I guess I'll just clear all this out. That's the only thing I can think of. Is just to clear it all out. Yeah, these two right here are doing a much better job. Alright, let's put this as a... Uh... There we go. Just get some more gears coming in. Get a couple of haulers. People are growing up left and right. That's good. That makes me happy. Yeah, I still probably need one more farm, to be honest with you. Uh, food is still not doing great. If we get another drought coming up here very soon, then I'm probably definitely going to lose. Because I don't... I just, I'm just not going to have enough food. I did not plan ahead very well for the food situation. Need two, one more gear, then I can start that large water tank, and that might help with the water. I'm not used to, like, stuff not regrowing. Started so strong. Everything started out so well. Oh, there we go. Good. There is our large water tank, and it's going to start filling up with lots and lots of water. Good. All right, I'm going to delete you. Also going to delete that one. All right, let's get ourselves a forester in here. And we'll do two lumberjacks. Right there and there. Now, let's slow things down. And I'm actually just going to start planting birch. It's quick. And right now, I just need quick and easy, basically. Or does it just, like, grow over top of that stuff? I have no idea, to be honest with you. I guess we'll find out. 
That grows in nine days and gives one birch. Yeah, it's not the best. I guess I should have done pine. Twelve days to give two. Ah, Fine, fine, fine. I'll do the birch. I mean, I'll do the pine, rather. Um... Clear this out. Oh, nope, not that one. Clear this out. Okay, go clear all this out here out. We'll let them clear those stumps as they get around to it, basically. And then we'll plant a bunch of uh, pine back here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, man, it's going to be super close, basic, uh, to be honest. I don't know that I can do that. All right, let's uh, turn you back off. Let's turn you back off. Haulers, get to hauling. So we're going to need water and food stockpiled up in mass quantities. Uh, pine, yes, please. Okay. Unfortunately, all that's going to die. I'm not going to get anything from it. But I think that's about all I could do. We have another drought coming up. We might be able to survive this one. Depends on if I can get enough water filled up in this tank. This tank's about halfway full. If I can fill this tank right here all the way up with water and finish processing some more food and get some logs in pretty quick. Because I've got... Yeah, I've got a few more potatoes sitting in there, but I don't have any logs to make any of that. So essentially, we're just kind of we're we're crossing our fingers at this point, guys. All right. But that is going to be it for me for this episode of Timberborn. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, pray for me and take care.